Okay, guys. Um, so now I'm going to show you Ochigari. Um, this is also the technique that I like to do the most from this kumikata. So again, I start with the left hand. Um, I go over with my right hand. Um, but here, most of the time, I like to use the Korean grip. I don't like to use this grip. I, I prefer much more the Korean grip. I don't know why they call it Korean grip, but um, I just got used to it. For me, it's important here that I'm really standing in this parallel position. Um, even if I start with right leg or left leg, I go again with my right leg in. And this hand, you see, my finger goes inside, but it's important that it's really on this side, you know, that it's not here, for example, because you don't have the control. You have to go inside, and you see, I have my hands together here, and I twist a bit. So he, here, he really can't do anything. This is, this is my control. But as I said, be careful here, because if you do too much of this, he, uh, you can get penalized for uh, um, also for passivity, I think, or for not allowing the uh, randori to continue in some way. So if you go for this grip, really start attacking uh, as soon as you have this grip. So what I do here for the right uh, fight, for the right-sided uh, fighters, I go with my left hand in front. I lift the lapel a bit so I get the space to get in. So if you push the pressure there, you, you can go really inside. So I lift, lift, I go in, and here. Why, why, I'm like, uh, why I like to do this with my left uh, leg front is because I have more um, leverage here to lift the judogi. If you're here, for example, your arm is shorter in, because you don't, you can't reach so far. That's why I put my leg. You see, you immediately have more space. You can lift it. You go in and you come here. You pull him a bit down. You twist his head a bit, and this is really uncomfortable for him. And you really have the control over his head. And if you have control over his head, you most of the time have control over. All the, his whole body. So what I do here is lift, up, twist and down. This is what I like to do. What I do with my Ochigari is also, um, for example, a bit safer for me. If I go in with this leg immediately when I catch the grip for Ochigari. For example here, or I go just like this. I put the left leg a bit back and I just start hopping, for example. Or if I go for this grip, I help myself with this leg. So I go, I go immediately in. Or I stand here and I go. I go over. I go in. Okay, so my Ochigari is a bit different than uh, normal Ochigari. Okay, normal Ochigari, you're supposed to throw it like in this direction. You have Ochigaris that you throw it like back or this direction. But my, my Ochigari is basically a twist. And again, what I do here is I trick my opponent. So if he's right, I start here. I go in and I do this. And this this is where I really try to trick my opponent. It's because most of the part, um, opponent's reactions will be here that you're not serious. I start to jump, I lock his leg inside, and I just jump. And my part and my opponent doesn't know here what what I want to do if I'm serious or if I'm not serious. And what I do here is like out of nowhere, I twist, I turn, and I throw him. So here, we just, I just add him a bit into jumping, and then I turn. Now. So 
from here, I go in into this grip and I start jumping. I start jumping, you see my leg? It's not like this for normal Ochigari. When we, when we were um, learning Ochigari, when we were younger for the first time, our coach said our foot has to be pointed front. But here, because I want to trick my partner, my opponent, I go with this leg, this side of it. So he doesn't know if I want to go Ochigari, or if I want to go Uchimata, or if I have any other intentions, or I'm just jumping because I want to, I don't know, distract him, or I'm, I'm maybe scared, scared of his attacks and I feel safe here. So what I do here, and I jump. I jump, you see my leg is in this direction. I jump here, he doesn't think I'm gonna do anything, and I twist. And what, it's, what is really important in this position is the weight. So I'm here, and I really want to, you see, with this I want to put the weight down. And I make like a circle with my thumb. And what I do in this position, when I'm here, I really put my weight in this side. So even if he would want to put the leg down, he can, because I have the leg inside. If I wouldn't put the weight in this side, he would probably just step down and there would be no problem for him. But because I do this simultaneously, I put the weight down and I open his leg. So here, this is my kumikata. I have here, I start jumping. And then, you see here, both of our weights are a bit into this direction. He's not expecting that I will turn here. And here I really twist. And I keep the leg up. I'm gonna switch my weight from this direction. So here, left, in, I just jump. Now, you see, now we twist it for how much? 180 degrees. I start in this direction, I throw him into this direction. So this is really important. You use the rotation and you use my weight also, as well as, as his weight, into, our, into my advantage. Really put all of, his, all of my weight into his left leg. So here, see, we go here. Also the head, the head is really important here. You really have to look in this side. Because where your head goes, your body follows as well. So I'm here, you see, I can go same time as I with my hand, I can go with my leg inside. I just jump, he doesn't expect. Oops. And I keep my leg up. You see, I close the leg. I like to do this against left side also. For example, if he's left, he grabs here. I like to go. Okay, I start maybe here, just to show him. I go with this hand also, and then I move in. I do also this, I move in, but this is not so effective for me. So even against left, I like to grab here, and then go for Ochi. So even if he holds left here, so if he holds left, I go with my left hand, uh, left leg front, and then I go in, for example. I go in, I grab, and I start to hop. And what I do with left, it's even better for me, is when I grab, I immediately start jumping, for example. If he's here, I go in, immediately start jumping, and I drop. You see, I can give him the feeling also that I fight in the left side. 
ketogenic sulfide life. This is, for example, good for uh, fighting against Koreans for me, because Koreans usually grab here. Okay, most of the time they don't give you permission, but in four minutes, usually they give you at least one chance and you really have to use that chance. So I have left arm, I fight like maybe that I'm left. I go in with this hand, I go in, I grab, and I start hopping. I go in, I start hopping, and I look right. When you do this technique, even on competition, uh, you don't need to rush, that's the point of this technique. Uh, the point is that you really trick him. You, you don't know, he doesn't know what to expect here. He thinks you're just fooling with him. You're here, we're jumping here. You know, what, what is he doing? What, what does he want from this position? Why is he here? You know, and he doesn't take serious. If he would know that I do this technique, for example, he would, really, he would maybe immediately stop, stop down, you know, step down. He wouldn't let me jump and fool with him a bit, you know. That's why it's really important that he doesn't know. It can be just a bit of play. It takes like you're playing and then... You see? So even if you're on competition or on training, don't rush, don't go. Don't go here and just start and do this. Because most of the time it won't be effective. Really take your time. Go with your leg in. Maybe even in this time, use the time maybe to get a bit closer, you know? Jump, jump, get a bit closer and then... You really make sure that you have control over his body until the end, you know? Now I would like to show you a bit um, how I used to, how I still train this technique and how I still train this movement. For example, I take my line and what I do, I practice jumping. I jump here, and then I use the movement for the twist. I use here. So for example, I come here, I jump, I twist. So you can do this, you can practice maybe a few meters, you can start First time you go jump here, then you go other side here. But you see, I'm on the line. Jump, turn. The second part that I like to do is I go until the floor. For example, I'm here, I jump, I go down. This is also a good exercise. So here, you jump, this is basically just so you can feel your weight, you can feel how you must turn the body, you feel in which direction you can show your partner. And the most important part is that you get used to the movement, you get it that you feel it's automatic, you know, you're not thinking how to do it when the, uh, on training or randomly competition, when the chance comes for this technique, you don't really think about it, you just do it automatically. You see you're in, it's up, you turn, you throw. Here, jump, now, stand up, again, turn, down. Then, the next phase of uh, training Ochigari, uh, for example, this Ochigari where you jump, is you can start here, for example. You go in, it doesn't matter. You can, when you're training, you can also train like this, or you can train like this. Here, you start to jump, jump, and you go faster, 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 and you So you get to use also these movements. So here, you go slowly, faster, faster, and you turn. This is another way how you can train it. And then the last way, this is the most effective, the one that I really like to do myself also a lot. Uh, it's basically you're turning around in circles. But the most important part is that you don't let him know 
at what point you will finish the technique. You go in and you jump. You jump a bit and you go in. Really try to get this feeling in. Here and then you jump. You jump. Then you finish the test. You can also go, you say for example with your partner that you want to do from one side to other side and you start here for example and you twist for a few meters, don't tell them which time you want to finish the technique. Here, you go in, you turn. Here it's really important that you finish. Look at my leg, it's still in the air. You lock it in. That's important, like I said before, because here, he will probably, when you do this, he will automatically try to step down with the leg. Pull up. He will try to stand down. That's why, when you're here, really lock the leg and turn. So I'm gonna show you one more time, the jumping. So I'm here. And we're just playing, I don't tell it. <laughs> 